knuckles because he always does lots and lots of push-ups and he does them on his knuckles and he does them every night and every morning. There was an American Navy SEAL on American Idol who was quite buffed and, and quite strong and used to taunt Simon every week and one day in the commercial break Simon said come on then and he got up off his chair he went up on the stage and he said one arm press-ups to this Navy SEAL and Simon did 50 and the guy collapsed after 20. Ah, he's a manly man, but he does like to pamper himself. He's always immaculate, his teeth are white as anything, he's always clean shaven. And I think he, he I think he's proud of that. Oh, he's terribly, he's awfully vain. I mean he's you know he doesn't like a hair out of place. If you open up his cupboards, there's more cosmetics than hairs. So yeah, he's definitely very vain. You know, he's not frowning very well these days for some reason. Not frowning well? No idea what you're referring to, Nicholas. But even while pressing the flesh, applying grooming products and being generally fabulous, Simon never forgot where it all came from. The acts. And on The X Factor, he lets us choose the winners and then sells us their records. On his label, of course. The more successful he's become, the cooler he's become. Everything he now does appears to be right. And if right is the new cool, therefore he's cool. I think... Simon's mastery is that he can produce music that anyone can listen to. Leona Lewis could be loved by your mum, your dad, your grandmother, your five-year-old son, your teenage daughter. If you listen to the London-based media, they will tell you that what people want these days, bread-wise, are uh, very posh, very granary, brown, very good for you breads. And what Simon understands is that if you look outside London and the people who try and tell you what you want. Most people just want some nice white sliced bread. Hey? Oh, oh, a baking analogy. Right. So, which of Simon's acts are which kind of bread? Shane Ward. A humble roll that doesn't taste of anything. Il Devo. Impress your friends with your exotic taste in continental pastry. Will Young. A very dainty crostini, nice with a bit of cheese. And Michelle McManus. Enough bread, back to Simon. The cowl effect is now so great, even if you don't win X Factor, do it the Simon way and you can end up making a good living. Like this ex-goat herder. Simon has changed my life dramatically, drastically, fantastically. I love him to bits. Without him, I wouldn't be here. And for Chico, here is the Sin nightclub in Worcester on a Wednesday night. Tonight is the Text Factor final, and Chico's here to bring it some of that Simon Cowell X Factor magic, even though he hasn't seen Simon for years. There is absolutely nothing in praise for the man that we call he, Mr. Simon Cowell. Even a brief association with the cowl magic means singers like Chico can wow a crowd. In Simon's brave new world, everyone's a winner. Except Chico, of course. He came fifth. Genuinely talented individuals like Leona Lewis, Alexandra Burke and Paul Potts are Simon's bread and butter. But his shows also unleashed a whole new definition of the word talent. People who didn't have any. But we love them anyway. Hello, I'm Alan. You might remember me from The X Factor. I'm here at Lingfield Victoria Club for a karaoke performance. But I have to get into a different character, so I better change for that. I'll see you in a minute. I'm back. I'm ready to perform. This is it. Woohoo! Would you please give a big warm welcome to our very own local celebrity, Mr. Alan Penfold! Yeah. Come on, let's hear it! celebrity and he's always performed it at the club and he gets great ovations. Whenever he's down in the club he, he draws a big crowd and they just love him. The cowl effect has turned Alan into a local hero. 
Alan's enjoying his act, his mates are enjoying his act, and go on, admit it, so are you right now. Yes, you are. The people wanted more of people like Alan, and being a man of the people, that gave Simon his next idea for the people. After the break, we discover what it's really like working with Simon on Britain's Got Talent. He can be psychopathic. And we reveal the shocking secret of what Simon Cowell gets up to behind closed doors. At night, if you go past his bedroom, you can hear it. <laughs>